and gentlemen, the overture to Duel in the Sun. two years in the making, is a saga of Texas in the 1880s, when primitive passions rode the raw frontier of an expanding nation. Here, the forces of evil were in constant conflict with the deeper morality of the hardy pioneers. And here, as in the story we tell, a grim fate lay waiting for the transgressor upon the laws of God and man. Characters in Duel in the Sun are builded out of the legends of a colorful era when a million acres were one man's estate and another man's life was held as lightly as a woman's virtue. The character of the sin killer is based upon those bogus, unordained evangelists who preyed upon the hungry need for spiritual guidance and who were recognized as charlatans by the intelligent and God-fearing. the sun. sun-baked hills of Texas, the great and weather-beaten stone still stands. The Comanches called it Squaw's Head Rock. Time cannot change its impassive face, nor dim the legend of the wild young lovers who found heaven and hell in the shadows of the rock. For when the sun is low and the cold wind blows across the desert, there are those of Indian blood who still speak of Pearl Chavez, the half-breed girl from down along the border, and of the laughing outlaw with whom she here kept a final rendezvous, never to be seen again. And this is what the legend says. A flower known nowhere else grows from out of the desperate crags where Pearl vanished. Pearl, who was herself a wild flower, sprung from the hard clay quick to blossom and early to die. Well, where 
Where's your ma? She's in there, dancing. Like mother, like daughter. I'm commencing to think I like the daughter better. Let go. You go away from here, I'll call my pa. <laughs> that renegade Creole squaw man? <laughs> That's a rich one. <laughs> Would you mind? Mind what? That weed. I find it rather repulsive. Pretty fancy gentleman, ain't you, Mr. Chavez? He's not so fancy about his wife, if you ask me. <laughs> <laughs> Look at her. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, but there are greater tragedies that I'm sure you wouldn't understand. out here at this hour anyway. Uh, I was just dancing. I've told your mother repeatedly that this street is no place for a girl your age. I, I didn't mean no harm, Pa. It's my fault, child, not yours. The sins of the fathers. Go home now, dear. I'll be back in a little while. No mitigating circumstances, they deserve to die. 
as I deserve to die. For I long since killed a person much superior to either of them, myself. I killed that person the day I gave my family's name to the woman who became my wife. And since I believe the punishment should fit the crime, I suggest that you hang me by the neck until I'm dead. It's from Laura Bell. Did I ever tell you about her, Pearl? She's my second cousin. Yes, Laura Bell is my second cousin, but she was more than that to me. You see, once upon a time, in a different age, in a different age, and oh, such a different world, I was in love. I am wonderful to believe the lady was in love with me. Now, now, you mustn't look at me as though that were impossible. I was quite good looking in my day and very dashing. <laughs> that's a bit too dashing. And that's why this very wonderful girl, who might have been your mother, decided on security and gave herself in wedlock to a wealthy Yankee. Better make it fast, you best. You only got five minutes left. No! No, no, no! They can't. They can't. I won't let him. Better that it end, Pearl. Really it is. <laughs> Your mother and I can't hurt you any longer. <laughs> Laura Bell wants my little girl to go to her. Yes, just a few more weeks, and at last you'll have a home. The mother you should have had. <laughs> oh, no. No, you mustn't leave me, you must. You've been a good child, Pearl. Through some miracle, you're good, and you're decent, and you're strong. And now you must prove that you are strong. You will do that for me, won't you, darling? No tears, no grief. Now, or later. Here, here, keep this calf. <laughs> Wear it sometimes. Get her out of here, Chavez. Listen to me, darling. We've had a little time. I want you to lean on Laura Bell. Make her your inspiration and your guide. And then one day, you'll be the great lady I've always wanted you to be. Promise me that. <laughs> Cross your heart. <laughs> She'll love you, I know she will. And you must give her all the love you've had for me. <laughs> Smile for me, Pearl. No, no. Head high. What's your name? None of your business. Sorry. Uh, I I really am sorry. I I wonder if I could. I don't talk to no strangers. That's a good rule. Generally, I I grant you, but well, in this case, it. Oh come on! Won't you answer just one question? Well, what is it? Did you see a little southern tot on the Guadalupe coach? No. Are you sure she was traveling alone? You said one question. I know, but it doesn't seem unreasonable if you... Now, you go away and leave me alone. I know all about men like you. Well, uh... 
Good morning. Why couldn't they have been a little more explicit about just which coach they were sending her on? Don't worry, Jesse. I'll drive her out the ranch whenever she shows up. Thanks, Lenny. Can't miss her. She's one of those well-brought-up southern children that probably be hungry and crying her eyes out. Well, I'll give her some milk and blow her nose for her. Thanks again, Lamb. And, uh, so long. Go on, Jesse. Hey, give my regards to the old man. I will. Say hello to Laura Bell for me. Wait! Wait! Do you know somebody named Laura Bell? I said, do you know somebody named Laura Bell? None of your business. It is my business. I don't talk to no strangers. You can answer one question, can't you? That won't hurt you none. All right, one question, but remember, just one. I know all about girls like you. Don't you dare say that. Girls. How'd you know my name? If you hadn't been so uppity, I'd have known who you were a long time ago. Now, come on, get in. Who are you? And my mother couldn't come to meet you, so I came in her place. I'm Laura Bell's son. The older one, Jesse. There. Oh. Sorry about not recognizing you. I guess your clothes sort of fooled me. Well, don't misunderstand me. I think they're beautiful. You do? Yes, it's very unusual. But you know, Pearl, I think I'd like to see you in brighter colors. Like green? I have a green blouse. Green, blue, yellow, maybe? Yellow? I have a real pretty yellow one right here. I'll put it on now. Oh, oh no, no, not now, uh, Pearl. Uh, I'll save it for tomorrow. Hmm? Oh. Die. There's the marker. Spanish bit. A million acres of McCandless Empire. Empire? Isn't this still Texas? Yes, but the senator doesn't always acknowledge that. Look. He puts a seal of ownership on everything. It's on the sons, too, I suppose. In fact, I'm sure my brother Lute and I are the senator's favorite property. Is your brother as nice as you are? The girls in town think he's nicer. Hi, Jesse. Howdy, Jake. Hi, Paul. Is that... is that your house? That is the residence of Jackson Tilt McCandless and family. Now on to the fortress. And have this girl. girl ever to set foot on Spanish pit. Oh, dear. Oh, I'm so glad you've come to us, darling. Here, let me look at you. Yes, you're Scott's daughter. And now you're ours. You're just like he said. I'm afraid I'm somewhat different than he remembered. But come, dear. Did you take good care of her, Jesse? Well, that showed all the points of interest. Oh, he did, he did. He's nice. I think so, too. Oh, you southern bells are all alike. Yes, sir! Yes, sir! Where in all the rest have you been all day? I just went down to Paradise Flats. Senator, this is Pearl. Huh? Oh. Pearl Chavez, our cousin. You remember? We invited her to come and stay with us. Don't be scared, Pearl. You're not a trespasser. She's no cousin of mine. She's Scott Chavez's daughter, ain't she? Yes, of course she is. Well, why don't you say so? Girl? What are you doing in that get-up? Is that the latest fashion with them aristocratic cousins of yours? 
Or is it what they're wearing this season in wigwams? <laughs> Come on, boy, we got to talk business. See you later, pal. Come, dear, I'll take you to your room. He don't want me here. Oh, you mustn't mind the senator. He doesn't mean anything by it. It's his way ever since... Well, ever since his accident. Accident? It's a long story, and I'm afraid not a very pleasant one. I wish we had a better room for you. But later on, we'll speak to the senator. You dear? This is Pearl. My younger son, Luther. Pleased to meet you, Luton. Pleased to meet you, Pearl. Come, Pearl. You and Luton will have plenty of time later on to get to know one another. I'm sure we will. whenever you wish. Oh, thank you, ma'am. Do you know anybody who would be nice for me to marry? No, I don't, Vashti, but I'll think about it. Oh, thank you, ma'am. Get in a particular hurry. Oh, Vashti, I'm afraid I'll never be able to train her properly. And as to marriage, oh. Sit down, Pearl. I'm glad your father sent you to me. All you have to do is behave like a lady. Oh, not that Scott Chavez's daughter could ever be anything but a lady. I'm a good girl, ma'am. Of course you are, dear. But when you... You see, you'll be the only young girl at Spanish business. And no one could blame you if your head were turned a little. Now, you take Luton, for instance. He's such an attractive boy. I think Jesse's much nicer. But you scarcely know Luton. Of course, he's a bit undisciplined, but perhaps that's what gives Westerners their charm. The senator was like that. That's why when your father... Oh. Jesse always chides me for talking about the past. I hope Jesse likes me. Oh, we're going to lose him someday. I've known that ever since he came back from law school. Oh, I've been so selfish. Why, he'd have gone long ago if it weren't for me. For my firstborn. He's so good. He's made such a difference in my life. Ma'am. Yes, ma'am? I'll be a good girl, ma'am. I promise I will. I want to be like you. That's what my father wanted. I'm afraid neither your father nor I found happiness, child. I hope you will. Oh, come, child. This is no way to begin. Look, do you know this waltz? Will you stop that infernal instrument? Kick me, Senator. I always figured when I moved into my own quarters, I'd be rid of that noise. Well, I guess that's it, Senator. I think I'll take me a little stroll. Now we got that papoose to put up with. Oh, I don't know. She looks like a pretty cute tamale to me. You think so? Wouldn't appeal to me none. Of course, I always like my women more, um... Say, uh... Senator. Yeah, Luke? You know that last trip I took up to Abilene? Yeah. Well, I was driving a herd all day, kind of tired, and. Felt like getting some relaxation and... Yeah. 
didn't happen to drop into a place called The Last Chance, did you? Oh, how'd you find that out? Sent him a check for 1600 just yesterday. That's how I found out. Oh, I guess I had a few drinks too many, Senator. It's <laughs> all right, Lou. Fellas got to sow some wild oats sometime. Well, what's the money for? Senator, I hope someday I'll be like you. Ah. <laughs> you know, Luke, the only thing I don't like about you is the miserable way you play poker. Trying to fill inside straights is a sucker's game. Go on, boy, go on, run along. What a boy. Well, how'd they come to name you Pearl? I don't know, sir. <laughs> Couldn't have had much eye for color, could they? <laughs> yeah, I think it might have better called you Pocahontas of the Mini Ha Ha. Ain't that right? I guess so. All right, Mini, on your way. Good night, sir. <laughs> Mini. Oh, 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 oh. Hello, Pearl. Well, what's the matter? You got happy? Does she like Spanish a bit? Mm -hmm. Everybody was like you. <laughs> if everybody was like me, the world would be a terribly frustrated sort of place. What do you mean, Jesse? Oh, nothing for you to worry your pretty little head about. I want to learn, Jesse. Will you learn me? Your ma says you're a lawyer. I want to be a lady and know everything like her. If learning ever made mother any happier. I wish I could do that. Make rings like that. Can I try? Let me oh, try. No, 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 no. Ladies aren't supposed to smoke. Oh. Now you won't want to learn me things, will you? You don't like me no more, do you? Oh, I, of course I do. I'm afraid a lot of men will want to learn you things. Gotta go to bed. Like a good little girl. We'll discuss your uh, education another time. All right. Good night, girl. Good night, Jesse. And nobody ever did that before. They didn't. Nobody did. Nobody's going to. Uh. You leave that alone. Woohoo! I reckon he must be the white hat. <laughs> oh, I forgot to say good night, man. Oh, no, ma'am, I can't ride. Why, Miss McCandless says to me once, Vashti, can you ride? And I says, Miss McCandless... 
Mr. Callis said to me once, Vashti, can you write? And I said, Mr. Callis, you know Vashti! Right. Mr. Callis said... Vashti! That's Mr. Lude. I said he wants to see me. Vashti, where are you? I scared of that, Mr. Lude. He says to me once, Vashti, you are empty-headed. Vashti, tell Miss Pearl to come out here. Miss Pearl? I heard him. Tell him I'm busy. Why don't you tell him, and I'll just run along up to the house. All right. I'll tell him. What do you want? Thought you might like to see some tricks. Watch this. That's a good boy. <laughs> hey, Lute. What do you want? Thought you're supposed to be on the roundup today. And suppose you tend to your mortgages and stop sticking your nose in my business. Just as one civilized man to another, I, if that isn't insulting you, I have a little suggestion to make. All right, let's have it. Why don't you leave this one alone? She may do very nicely if given half a chance. What's the matter, Judge? You got her earmarked for yourself? <laughs> Hey, Pearl! Come on, let's push. Whoa. <laughs> Give me a good push. <laughs> Whoa, boy. I want you to meet a lady. Now bow for the lady, Dice. He's right smart. Well, what do you think of my new girl, Dice? Maybe not. Did you teach him all that? All that and lots more. He'll turn in a dime and give you a change. You want to try him? Me ride him? Why, oh, you're just having fun with me. Oh, can't you ride bareback? Of course I can. Well, let me see you. Well, I could show you. But I've got work to do. Well, of course, if you don't dare, I don't give a dog gone. Blue. Yeah. Get off him. Sure enough, he won't throw you. He's smooth as cream. <laughs> Come on! Now get! Got no sense. If you'd only let me start him right instead of scaring him that way. Yeah, it wasn't him that was scared. He won't throw me next time. Ah, I think you won't. better stick to buggy riding. 
Maybe him and me ain't your style. It ain't no maybe about you. <laughs> Lute, I wish you'd let me ride him some more. Why, sure, sure. How'd you like me to give him to you? You mean for keeps? You not just tease him? No, no. I guess you'd rather have Jesse pick you out a riding horse, even if he don't know the difference between a pinto and a strawberry roan. Yeah, I like this one. You like me, don't you, honey? You won't throw me no more. All right. He's yours. Hey, Pearl, let's you and me ride down to the sump after supper, huh? Where's that? Shady place over by Hidden Canyon. The water's good and deep now, almost over your head. You mean go swimming? Together? I'll bring along my guitar, play us some music. You got a nerve. The moon will be pretty near full. You didn't buy me, just giving me a horse. I'll be waiting for you after supper, out by the bell. I won't go. I won't, I won't. <laughs> Listen to this for poppycock. And the benefits to be derived by the small ranches from the new railroad are too numerous to need recounting here. Small ranches, ignorant nesters falling open range with their measly fences. And say, Jesse, I should have told you before, them surveyors had the gall to come traipsing over Spanish bit with them infernal spyglasses of theirs. I almost fired that new foreman, Ken, for letting him on the place. Shouldn't have done that, Senator. Why not? Because it wasn't Ken who left him on the place. Nobody else would have had the nerve. I was the one who told him they could do it. You gone plumb crazy. I don't think so. I thought it might be a good idea to cooperate and have the tracks further do the most good. Good? What do you mean, good? It's getting rather cool, don't you think? Well, for one thing, the railroad will bring new people. Cool. Paradise Flats will become a real town. Instead of... And that same railway will ship a lot of emigrants from up north down here, and they'll start in voting and putting in taxes. Look, Senator, it's at your ranch. I was just trying to be helpful. Hey, Jesse. Spanish bitch going to belong to you someday. You and Luke, and so I don't see why you don't... Senator, I know you mean well for me. You've always been generous to us. Maybe Luke and I'd be closer to what you wanted us to be if you hadn't been so generous. Luke? What's wrong with Luke? Nothing at all that you'd object to. That's not the point. I'm the one who's the maverick. Jesse! I don't know what you're talking about. Well, I'd like one McCandless to give something to this state, not just take from it. Good night, sir. Your son, ma'am. Yes, Senator. Who's there? Is that you, Jesse? Hello, Pearl. Nice night. Want to take a little walk? It's kind of late. I, I think I'd better go to bed. Well, where were you going when I... I guess that's Lute. Certainly is Lute. He's the best serenader this side of the Rio Grande. I don't care if he is. Him and his old guitar. Just because he gave me a horse. I know why, too. He can't fool me none. Well, then, uh, that's a horse on Lute, isn't it? Hmm? I, I didn't really want to meet him, Jesse. Honest, I didn't. It was just that I was kind of lonesome. And... Do, you, do you still want me to take that walk with you? Uh-huh. I don't know why not. Lute can supply the charming musical background. Gotta get me somebody to love. Well, I'll be... Better ranger than all of them. 
Hey, Sid, see that chestnut over there? She looks lame. Take her out to pasture. Sure, Lute. Ah, it's hotter than a stove lid. Sure wish we was over at the sump right now. And somebody else figures the same way, I reckon. Looks like she's heading for a cool-off. Now, see you later, Sid. Where you going, boss? I got your business. A lucky stiff. Wished I was a McCandless. Swimming lesson? No. What if I just stay around and keep you company? Don't you dare. I'm sorry, honey. I can't hear a word you say. Move over. You can't come in here. Just act like I'm not even here. Act like we never even met. swim. about you. Sorry, ma'am. What happened? I went riding. With Luton? First I get Miss Bell some supper. Yes, ma'am. The senator's got rules about supper. He says to me, don't you ever... Bastard. Yes, ma'am. Did you go riding with Luton? No, ma'am. I didn't go riding with Luton. He wasn't here for supper either. He's coming. But he wasn't with you? We just happened to meet up. I see. But why is your hair wet, Pearl? Well, I, I was down to the sump. You went in swimming? Yes, ma'am. With Luton? No, ma'am. I didn't, ma'am. Honest, I didn't. I didn't, ma'am. All right, Pearl. I... Evening, Ma. Good evening, Luton. Sorry to be late. We were down to the sump. I think I'll take a ride over to El Paso tomorrow. Get me a little fun and relaxation. Anything I can bring you, Ma? No, thank you, Luton. Pearl, I think I'll try to get you one of them newfangled bathing suits. She swims real well, Ma. What'd you learn, oh. Pearl? Oh, my dear. You, you vomit. What you getting your bristles up about, Pearl? <laughs> Miss Pearl, wake up. Huh? What is it? What's the matter? Well, what time is it? Well, it must have been about nine o'clock when Miss McCandless says to me, Vashti, when Mr. Jubal Crabby gets here. Oh, Vashti, what is it? Who's Mr. Crabby? Why did you wake me up? Oh, I almost forgot. Miss McCandless wants to see you up in the sitting room. Maybe you better hurry. She's been a-waiting. I didn't 
didn't know where you were, so I said I'd go see Mr. Luton. And he said, Oh, Vashti, why are you so slow? I don't rightly know, Miss Pearl, except now I always have so much to remember. This is the child, Jubu. Of course, she isn't dressed quite properly, but uh, close the door, Pearl. This is Mr. Krabby. We have no minister in these parts, but Mr. Krabby... Man doesn't have to wear the cloth to be a sin killer, Laura Bell. Oh, I knew that, Jubal. That's why I was so anxious to have you talk to the child. Come here, girl. Call her a child, Laura Bell? Under that heathen blanket, there's a full blossom woman built by the devil to drive man crazy. Oh, oh, Jubal, you mustn't frighten her. I'm sure she only needs a little, a little guidance. Guidance she needs and guidance she'll get her. I ain't been the sin killer from here to El Paso for 30 years. Sit down, girl. Pearl, you could be a woman of sin or a woman of God. Which is it to be? I want to be a good girl. And sir. remember that the devil's always able to hogtie you. Sometimes he comes ghosting over the plains in the shape of a sneaking rustler. And sometimes, begging your pardon, Laura Bell, he stakes out the home to the worthy and the God-fearing. Pearl? You're curved in the flesh of temptation. Resistance is going to be a darn sight harder for you than for females protected by the shape of sows. Yes, sir, Ree Bob, you got to sweeten yourself with prayer. Pray to your sweat, and you'll save yourself eternal hellfire. You understand me, girl? Yes, sir. Then on your knees. Now I'm going to start you toward salvation. Oh, Lord, look upon this, thy creature. She's a weak vessel and a pauper, as thou knowest, but she wants to be thy handmaiden. Give her the horse sense not to go wandering off in the doolies with worthless cowpokes. Amen. 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 Rise, girl. You know, I want you to take this. It's a hallowed medal and a good one. I took it off a thieving card shopper, but first I slide him and send him to the pearly gates as nice and pretty as any of his own faith could have done. You wear it, girl. Thank you, sir. Hot engine, ain't you? Those ancestors of yours will be spinning like tops when they know you got this on. Just the same, it'll keep you sweet and clean as a first milking. <laughs> Won't get you into heaven, but it'll comfort you on the way there. That is, if you use it right. Say, Laura Bell, don't you think we ought to be saying a few words of prayer for them worthless cowpokes? I got a feeling they'll be needing consolation. On your knees again, girl. Oh, Lord, have mercy on all men, young and old alike, who gaze upon this, thy regained servant. Amen. Watch this damn thing. Senator, there's a great big railway gang down close to the east fence. How close? They say they're coming across Spanish bit line this afternoon. What do we do, Senator? Get a hold of Loot and Jesse. Well, Loot's not back from El Paso. Oh, Well, I guess Jess and me can handle it all right. Sid? Yes, Senator. Listen carefully now. Sound every bell from here to Blue Hills Ranch. I want every wrangler, every cowhand, Every man and boy on Spanish bit down there at the East Fence. And I want them there fast. Yes, sir. And Sid. Yes, sir. I want them there armed. You betcha.
it at your heading. But I still don't like it. What do you mean you don't like it? You told me we were legally in the clear, didn't you? Yeah, and I know you asked the Army for help, too. And I hope they don't come. And I hope we don't need them. What do you mean? I mean Jackson McCandless don't scare so easy. We roam the plains together. We fought at Vicksburg together. And if he gives up in this fight, he ain't the man I've known for 50 years. I wish you wouldn't try to ride, Father. You think I'm going to sit in this house like some old woman? Lift me on that horse. If they want war, they can have it. Ken? Yeah, strap me on here. Come on! I kind of thought he wouldn't take this lion down. Looks like they mean business. Smoke! Them Smoke have thought you had more sense than that. Yeah? Since when did you ever know me to dodge a fight? You know I'm lawyer for the railroad. And Never mind that stuff. Who's the dude? Langford is a high mucky muck on the railway. Heard a lot about you, Senator. Glad to make your acquaintance. Can't say the same, thank you kindly. You better tell those hired thieves of yours to pick up their tools. And fast, if you know what's good for you. We have the law now on our side. Now Jackson. You'd have come into court when I asked you that. This land might not have been... Never home. mind that fancy legal talk. There's my law. Right there. Have you a copy of the writ we just wrote? Now, what's the sense? All right, you are lawyer, or aren't you? I'll read it to him. Save your breath. From the people of the sovereign state of Texas, to Jackson Tilt McCandless, greetings. Greetings. Now, ain't that nice? Jackson, you and I fought to build this state of Texas, and I aim to see these men perform their duties peacefully and as authorized. Is that so? Well, I'm going to shoot any trespasser that comes on my property. 
If you don't like that lamb smooth, you can lump it. You and a state of Texas. Just a minute. Now speak to you privately. Say what you got to say right here. Right here and now. I'm sorry, Father, but I'm afraid you're in the wrong. I ain't aiming to let you settle that. You mean to shoot down unarmed men? Just like they was rattlesnakes if they crossed this line. Well, in that case, Senator. Give me a pair of wire cutters. Ferguson. So that's where you stand. I think I'd rather be on the side of the victims than of the murderers. Jesse, I'm warning you. We're going to fire on those coolies the moment you cut those wires. Their blood will be on your hands. <laughs> See, I'm asking you for the last time.
last time. Good afternoon, Mr. Lindsay. Where the devil is everybody? Place is deserted. I don't rightly know, sir, that the senator went riding. Senator went riding? You must be going out of your mind. No, sir. He went riding with lots and lots of other men. And I heard they're having a kind of a meeting. What kind of a meeting? I don't rightly know, but I said to Miss McCandless, Miss McCandless, where are all those men are going? And she said, Never mind, Minister. Well, she did say, Fresh Tide, go right on about your business. Right on about your business. means goodbye for a while. Well, don't you cry. I'll be back before long. He'll get over it when the railroad comes through. I always knew you'd have to leave someday. But now that it's come, I just can't it. Oh, it's not as bad as all that. I'll get a place in Austin. You can come visit me. If you're a good girl, I might even take you on a little trip to New Orleans. No, he'd never forgive me. I'll never see you again. Never. I know it. Why, he said he'd shoot you if you ever stepped foot up. Look, Mother, one McCandless can be just as tough as another. I'm gonna go to him now. But you won't go yet a while, Jesse. No, I'll just pack my things and say goodbye to Pearl. Thanks for knocking, Jesse. I didn't used to think there was much to all those fancy manners of yours. I guess I was wrong. Jesse. Jesse. Forgive me for intruding, Pearl. You too, Loot. Goodbye, Pearl. Jesse! Jesse! Wait a minute, please! I, right, I didn't mean Pearl. to... I understand perfectly. No, no, you don't, you don't. Where are you going? Going to Austin. You, you're going to be gone long? Quite long, I'm afraid. It, it isn't 
because of... Oh, no, bless your heart. I, I'm uh, leaving by request, the senator's request. Going away, Jesse? Uh-huh. Your dream's come true. I'm going away. It's going to seem kind of lonely around here without the judge, ain't it, Pearl? Yes, it is. Don't see how we'll know when we're doing right, when we're doing wrong. Gooch, you surprised me. First time I knew you were interested in ethics. Well, uh, I'm sure you folks will excuse me. You must have a lot of things you want to talk over. Nights alone, so long. Oh, Jesse, it is going to be lonesome without you. I just don't know how I can stand it. You seem to be doing all right. I'm sorry, that was mean of me. I couldn't help it, Jesse. You just can't go away, believe me. I tried hard, honest, I did. I know. It's hard to resist. Oh, no, I hate him. I know what you're thinking. I guess I'm just trash. Like my mom. Pearl, you mustn't believe that. It was Lou's fault. You needed some help. Oh, I did. I needed you to help me. Might as well say it. I, I loved you. Somehow you touched me. You, you loved me? What of what you'd be like when you grew up a little. Uh, oh, I didn't know. Why didn't you tell me, Jess? I didn't think it'd be fair to tell you. I was a fool. I came to your room to say goodbye, to tell you that someday I'd be back for you. That I'd think about you and that I'd write. I'll write to you, Pearl. You will, Jesse, you will. If you need me, I'll come back. Senator, no Senator. And you'll forget about, about tonight, won't you? You'll forget it. No, I don't think I'll forget. I don't think I'll ever be able to. I shouldn't have told you the way I felt. It wasn't fair. There I go again. Try to be fair. Trash. Trash, 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 trash. I hear you turn out to be a prized yellow dog down at the fence line. Should have done that to you years ago. That you'd never forget.
the one you meant, Lute. <laughs> like this. You're going to give it right over the head if you don't settle down. Yeah, what's the matter, Sid? You having trouble? Back, killer, back! Here, Abe. Don't pick up that holder, dude. He'll charge you. You're scared of him, Sid, and he knows it. Never run from him. Stand your ground. Boy, I got a nice leather bonnet for you. <laughs> Easy, boy. Be careful, Lou. He's just plumb crazy. Don't you worry none about him. <laughs> That's all there is to it, Sid. Just don't let him bluff you. You see, there ain't nothing to handle in stallions. Just takes a little know-how. You sure got nerve. Get away, Ed. You're the boss. You don't have to stay around here anymore, do you? Don't never have to do nothing. You stay around here because I like it. Bet you can hit that ding dong straight off. Who cares? Hey, Lou, what's up? Nothing, Ken, just practicing. Can you shoot? Sure, it's easy. Uh, that's what you said about bareback riding. All right, I'll show you. Better not try it. You might hit Ken. Or the mayor, more likely. Sure is doggone hot. Sure is. You know what I'd like to do? What? I'd like to take a swim. You mean it? Sure, I mean it. Because it's some blue. I don't mind if I do. Am I your girl, Lou? Of course you're my girl. Then we can be married, can we? Uh, I guess so. No, if I'm not good enough to marry, I'm not good enough to kiss. Come here, you bumped here, little tree. That would be spooky, ain't it? Wouldn't do no harm to tell folks, would it? Sure, we'll tell them. Can we tell them soon, Lou? Can we tell them Saturday at the barbecue? Sure we can. Why not? Hey, what you got here? The sin killer gave me. He said he'd keep me sweet and clean as her first milk. <laughs> Who cares about milk? I don't want no milkmaid. Jesse around here, don't you? Jesse. Better not mention his name on Spanish bits. Can't get over Lem Smooth joining those railroad people. I always say if you can't whip them, join them. Never saw so many crows around here before in all my life. 
Wish they'd learn to grow corn without husk. Wouldn't surprise me none if that Indian girl did not mass free the whole darn lot of them. When I'm married, I'm gonna have lots and lots of parties. But who'll do all the work when I gives my party? Likes fishing, then that does dancing. Aw, uh, you never go fishing. I never go to dancing, neither. The gals the center, ring the lily, the boys take hands and go to the right. A weave a basket, circle left. Up. Now we'll weave that basket the other way. Senator, they appreciate it very much. I try to show my people a good time. Hey, Ruth? That's your folks, Senator. Now, birdie in the center and seven hands around. Bird hop out and the crow hop in. She round the she and the he round the he. The he round the she and the she round the he. Four hands up and here we go. Hurry up, boys, and don't be slow. You'll never kiss your uncle if you don't do so. She's all right, Senator. She's all right, huh? Well, that's what I wanted to talk to you about, Lou. I've been watching you, making calves' eyes that half-breed. You lost your mind. Oh, I don't understand you, Pa. You want me to have a good time, don't you? Sure. Is that all you got in mind? Of course. No, I've been working 30 years on this place to turn it into no engine reservation, you know. Now, oh, Pa, you know me better than that. Yeah, sure. <laughs> you had me worried for time. <laughs> Shut me out of here. All right. Yes, Laura Bell, that relaxation is mighty pleasant after a man's been chasing Satan all the way from here to Austin. Yes, sir, Lee Bob. You've been to Austin, Jubal? Did you hear anything of Justice? I heard plenty. Enough to warm the cockles of your gentle heart. You know what they're saying? He'll be governor of the whole darn state before he's ready to meet his maker. I knew it. Oh, do you think it's true? Well, judging from the fancy office he's got already, it's true. There's a roll top desk and a gold spittoon you couldn't miss if you aim from here. I hope he isn't working too hard. Well, no, I shouldn't fret too much about that. Not while old man Langford's daughter is sweet and pretty as the sunrise on the mesa would. Yes, he wrote me about it. He says she's a lovely girl. Yeah, wedlock's his aim. He couldn't shoot at a neater target. What you looking so sad about? Pearl, this is a party. Come on, let's show these cow folks a thing or two about dance. Girl, where's that medal I gave you? Uh, uh, she loaned it to me. I'm trying to get one just like it made for myself. Good, good. Put your little feet, put your little feet, put your little feet, just so. Put your little feet, put your little feet, put your little foot, just so. Take a step to the side. Take a step to the Come on, honey, don't let them yokels laugh at you. But, Lou, I don't know how. It's easy. Just follow me.
they be surprised when they hear about us? When they hear what about us? That we're bespoken, of course. Oh, that. But that's what you said. You said oh, we tell no, them the Just Jefferson, everything's going good. You've got to go and start all that again. Either you tell people we're bespoken, or I will. I want to tell you something, Luke McCandless. You don't fool me none no more. You stop poking up and vexing me. I don't know how a man stands it the way you go on. You think you don't have to marry me? Well, maybe you don't. And you don't have to go on lying to me no more, neither. I made up my mind. Yeah, you made up your mind about what? Just like I said. If you won't marry me, I'll, I'll get out. I'll go away fast as I can. Well, you can go and keep going for all I care. Go find yourself somebody else to pester me. But, but Lou, don't you No care? woman can tie on to me like that. Least of all a bobtail little half-breed like you. All right, Lou. Thanks for letting me know how you think about me. El Paso and Amarillo ain't no different than Sodom and Gomorrah. On a smaller scale, of course, but what in the Elzebub's name do you call that? <laughs> I wasn't having a very good time at the party, neither. I was just kind of tired. Who are you? I'm the new straw boss around here. Name's Pierce. Sam, my friend. Mind if I sit down? You want it? Must be plenty tiring on a person, all that dancing. Don't you dance? No, ma'am. Somehow, I've got the chance to learn. You ought to. It's fun. Lots of folks seem to think so. How'd you like to learn tonight? What do you mean? You'd teach me? I ain't so good at them fancy dances myself, but... We could learn together if you want. Well, I'd be right on it. Well, then, come on. Come on. The next dance will be Ladies' Choice. The ladies choose the dance. Dance line up over on this side. Ladies over yonder. Now, ladies. This is your big chance, and don't be afraid to go after the true love of your choice. I'd rather play me some poker. Females shouldn't be allowed no choice. It ain't decent. I'll bet you six bits that fat one grabs me. Now, you leave Jake alone. You had him all evening. Why, of all the nerve. <laughs> when I stomp my heel three times, run for the jet of your choice. Ready? One, two, go! <laughs> I want you to get acquainted with little Luke. The longest legged critter this side the main house. Oh, Sam, he's so cute. A lot cuter than Big Luke. Oh, he's just like silk. There you are, Ma. <laughs> See the others, Bill? Oh, yes. And I'm going to help you take care of them, too. Sure you are. Ain't they wonderful, these babies? <laughs> Any kind of baby. They sure are. I remember reading something once when I was a kid. What? Ah, no. You'd think I was silly. A big galoot like me spouting poetry. Oh, no, Sam, please. I'm going to sit right here until you tell me. Well, it goes something like this. For everything created in the bounds of earth and sky has such longing to be mated, it must couple or must die. 
That's the best poem ever. Yeah, I'm glad you like it. You married, Sam? Nope. Never run across anybody I wanted to marry. Besides, I never got up nerve enough to ask anybody. I guess you must be getting pretty old. Yep. Old enough to be your father. And then say. Why? Oh, nothing. Oh, I guess just the same. There are plenty of women that marry anyway. Well, I better be getting home. This McCandless is kind of ailing. Well, you wouldn't marry me, would you? What'd you say? I said, would you marry me? Sam! Now, don't get mad, please. First time in my life I got up some nerve. How could a big galoot Oh, like... don't say that. You don't know about me. If you did, you wouldn't ask. You mean about loot? So you know about me and loot, too. Yeah, I guess ain't nobody don't know. For life, I've knocked around plenty. I'm times. trash, I tell you, trash. Don't go telling me that. I'd kill the first man who said anything like that. But I don't love you, Sam. Don't that matter? You've only known me a little while, Phil. I know I'm not something girls dream about, like the McCandlesses. I'm not rich like them. What ain't that, Sam? But I'd love you, and I'd take care of you. I got a little money saved. Get a little ranch of our own, maybe. Won't you? Won't you even think about it, honey? Please, honey. Don't you call me, honey. Loot called me that. You're all alike. Coming? I hope I didn't say nothing to hurt your feelings, Sam. That's all right, Phil. Sam, I'll marry you if you still want me to. You mean it? so many cows before in all my life. I'm afraid they're not all cows, Alice. Sometimes, my dear, I think that I didn't bring you up properly. Right, I understand. All I need is a hand. <laughs> Those steers are from Spanish Bed. Thought your father's ranch was hundreds of miles from here. See, there's the brand. They're on the way to market. <laughs> Sid. Well, it ain't the big railroad man. How's everything at the bed? Along just fine since you left, Mr. McCandless. Same old Sid. I'll be inside, darling. Come, Bobby. Hey, that Langford's daughter? Heard you were kind of sweet on her. Yes, that's Miss Langford. Pretty, ain't she? We could use a few like her around the ranch, especially now that uh, Pearl's going, maybe. What do you mean? The darnest thing you ever heard. She's getting married. Can you imagine anybody marrying Pearl? She's marrying Loot. Loot? What would Loot? Nah. She's marrying Sam Pierce. Pearl ought to be very happy with Sam. She ain't marrying him yet. She ain't marrying nobody. The Loot decides to give the bride away. So long, Judas. I can't say I like you Spanish pit people very much, if he's any criterion. Darling, I've been thinking, why couldn't there be a spur track right on Spanish pit? Then they could just ship the cattle instead of driving them all that distance. You're not even listening to me, Darling. Uh, well, certainly I am. You were saying, uh, well, you, you were asking, uh, what were you saying? I was trying to prove what a helpful wife I'm going to be. Give me a kiss. Jesse, I couldn't help overhearing. What? You liked that girl, didn't you? You still like her? I'm sure I'll always be devoted to her. Hope you'll like her, too. But you were in love with her, weren't you? Yes, I was in love with her. I said I was. Jesse, father. Sometimes I think he didn't bring you up properly. What were you worried about when I came out just now? Worried? I 
I was just wondering what my brother Lute might do. <laughs> yourself a wife. I don't figure I know I have. Think you can keep her? Reckon as how I can. Chattel rustlers and women rustlers. They'll both of them steal what's got another man's brand on it. I don't think I like the way you're talking, the candles. Maybe I didn't rightly understand you. Yeah, you understand me all right. <laughs> Pearl Chavez is my girl. And she'll always be my girl. Just as long as I wanted to be. From now on, you're going to respect Pearl's name, McCandless. <laughs> well, if that ain't the best joke yet, he's defending a lady's name. My girl's name. <laughs> Has anybody else around here got any fancy ideas about Pearl Chavez? Well, don't seem to be no taker. I don't write to know much about Sam Pierce, oh Lord. But from what I hear, he'll be needing no introduction to you. Seen as how Sam was snatched from his loved one's arms before they even had time to get a good grip on him? I'm counting on you to give him a better break up yonder. Hey, you hatchet face! Are you so almighty hungry to hang one man that you can't wait till we get through planting this one? Now I'd be consigning him to your keeping. And I'm guessing you'll find him the gentlest, sweetest straw boss ever to enter the pearly gates. Amen. Start shoveling, car folks. It's our fault. We raised him wild. If he'd only gone to school like Jesse. I thought I asked you never to mention Jesse's name again. It's true. You spoiled you, and I let you. Ever since he was a child, he thought rules weren't made for him. He thought you made the rules, all of them, not just those for Spanish fit. It's that Indian girl. If you hadn't brought her here, none of this would have happened. Perhaps if your attitude toward had been different. Well, it's my fault, huh? It's my fault. You dare to bring that Indian baggage right here into this house? And now you try to tell me, you get her out of here. And what's more, get her out of here tonight. You've screamed at me for the last time. You made one of your sons hate you and send him away. You made the other one a murderer. Pearl will stay here just as long as I do. <coughs> Here's the money, Lewis. You better clear out of here until this thing blows over. Thanks, Paul. Uh, it's going to take plenty of fixing. So you better stay away from here until I send you the word. 
take a year, maybe. Maybe more than that, even. Sorry to cause you all this trouble, Paula. If you get me out of this, Never one, mind that. I ain't counting on no reformation. Go on, get going fast. Goodbye, Paula. Hold so on, Sid. So long, Take care of yourself, son. I will, Pa. Yeah, Bo. Now, here's a chance to do something for Pa. <laughs> Come on, you ain't got the mint on this game, you know. Sorry, Senator. Well, Sid, you certainly stuck your head in the news that time. Pearl, honey. Pearl, what you doing with that thing? There ain't nobody here but me. I'm gonna kill you, Luke McCandless. It wouldn't be a very ladylike thing to do, would it? After me riding 30 miles just for a kiss? You're gonna get what you gave Sam Pierce. That just goes to show you there ain't no gratitude for nothing. Why, if it wasn't for me, you'd be tied up with that broken down cow hand right now. You might as well marry Paul. Sam Pierce was a good man. You're a scum. And all the ordinary females. One minute you're yammering because I don't love you enough, and when I go out and show you how much I do, you're wanting to plug me. You're my girl, honey. I was your girl. Anybody who was my girl is still my girl. That's the kind of guy I am. You know, loyal. Stay back. Ain't nobody gonna take my girl. Nobody. Never. <laughs> Just when I figure I'm doing fine and dandy, I start thinking about you. Start thinking about you and nothing else is any good. <laughs> What's going on around here? Come in. Howdy, Zender. Sorry to be busting in on you like this. Oh, it's all right, Sheriff. How's Drake? How's the law breaking business? Pretty quiet. Yeah, pretty dull without him around. You heard from him lately, have you, Zender? Lude? Uh, here, have a bite. Hmm? What's the one for do? Hmm, wish I could afford this brand. Yeah, the next batch you get, I'll send you some. No, I ain't heard a word from Lude since he was attacked by that no account Sam Pierce. How's your other son feel about it? 
I ain't got no other son. Funny thing. One of the boys thought he saw loot heading up this way. Loot? <laughs> I wish it was so. Mind if I have a look around, do you? No, go ahead, Sheriff. You've got your duty to do. I'm sorry you're going to have your trouble for nothing. I hear Miss McCann has been feeling kind of poorly. Oh, it ain't nothing. Just getting a little old, I guess. You reckon the missus would mind if I kind of looked around her room? No, why should she mind? Go ahead. See, it ain't you moved yet. <laughs> <coughs> Come in. Evening, ma'am. Sure. Sorry to disturb your privacy, ma'am, but... Sheriff Thompson, what is it? Why, it's really nothing, ma'am. One of the boys had a fool notion that Lou was around here. I'm afraid if Lou were around, I'd be the last person to know it. Sorry. Who's that? Is that you, girl? What do you want? Me, Sheriff Thompson. You seen loot, have you? Loot? That murdering sneak and no count? I wish I could see him. I reckon you do, Pearl. I was forgetting about Sam Pierce. Sorry. Night, Pearl. See if they're hanging. place look like a gopher hole. It'd be like heaven being in Mexico together. I'll show these heel squatters around here a thing or two about ranching. You can do it, too. Loot. Huh? Go saddle my pinto. Huh? What for? While I get ready. Ready for what? I'm going with you, of course. Hurry up, Loot. <laughs> you wouldn't like it down there, honey. Sure I will. I'll be a big help to you, too. I can cook, and I can shoot as good as you, and I never get tired riding. Ah, you try to stop me from doing things. Jammer about me maybe getting shot or start all over again about marrying Oh, no, something. no, Luke, I promise I will never say another word about marrying. You probably want to go with me every time I feel like going on a bus or playing me some poker. Oh, I wouldn't, Luke, honest. Just so long as I could be near you. Now, look, I'm going to live my own way. Nobody's going to hog time. Luke, please, Luke. I'll come back every once in a while and see you, like tonight. I'll do anything you say, Luke. Now, look, honey, I love you. I'll see you every time I come back. No, Luke, no, no. Well, I'll send for you someday, honest. I'll I want to go with you, Luke. i got to go with you. Well, look, will you stop your yammer? I'm going to mosey. You love me. You said you love me. Let go. Nobody else can have me because I'm yours. I don't want anybody else here. I want you. I'm yours, Luke. Nobody else can have me. You said nobody ever. Pardon, ma'am. I'd like to stay if all the boys to bed is praying mighty hard. All right, Ken. Get... All right, now. You just wait downstairs. I'll let you know when I need you. Ken, will you thank the boys for me? Tell them it isn't quite as hard to go as they may think. Oh, what are you talking that way for? 
anybody think you was dying? I'm a nuisance to you, even to the end. It's the first time you've been in this room since that night. Don't bring that up, Laura Bell. I never had the courage to discuss it with you before, and it doesn't matter now. I paid for my mistake. You've hated me all through the years. You paid? What about me? With these legs, as useless as a hog-tied steer. And all because you couldn't stand to be mistress of the biggest ranch in Texas. And why? Huh? Why? I'll tell you why. Nobody needed to tell me who you was running away to that night. Nobody needed to tell me you was running to Chavez. It's not true. It's not true. I was running away, but not to Scott. Not to Scott. Well, true or not, you left me. And true or not, I went after you. Like any lovesick, half-baked boy would do. I give anything, anything to undo it. I loved you, Laura Bell. Yes, sir, I loved you. Kept on saying to myself all through the years that I hated you, until finally I did hate you. In my heart, I knew all the time it wasn't your fault, though. It was my fault. It was my jealousy made me like I was. Hard and cruel like. Till I guess you had to leave me. I never should have gone out after you that night. But when I found out you was gone, I got to thinking you was going to him, and I couldn't stand it. I swore I'd stop you and bring you back. I went crazy. Yes, that's what it was, Laura Bell. I just went crazy. I rode through the night like a drunken Comanche. It's my own crazy jealousy threw me off that horse. Yes, yes. Forgive me, forgive me. Look at me, Jackson. You're my husband, my very own. He's got a lot of gall coming back here. Where do you think you're going? Lorna told you to keep out of my sight. Just found out my mother is dying and I came to see her. And I intend to see her. They tell me you're the big noise now with them trespassing fees. I hope my good fortune doesn't distress you too They're much. They're even talking about putting you up for public office. <laughs> they must pay high for double crossing. Senator, them. let's not discuss that. I'm afraid we see things differently. Nothing on earth would bring me you here. You know, you're mighty lucky my men didn't take a shot at you. That was their orders. I was about to say that nothing on earth would bring me back here except Mother. Is she in her room? No, she ain't in her room. Where is she? You will find her right in there, in a long pine box. Vashti, I wonder if Miss Pearl would 
mind if you woke her up. I have to go away soon. I'd like to see her. What's the matter? Didn't she hear me? Yes, I hate you, Mr. Jesse. Only, I'm certain sure the devil himself been chasing Miss Pearl. What on earth are you talking about? Well, Miss McCandler, she treated Miss Pearl awful good. She treated everybody awful good, even me. And after she... After she went to heaven, why, well, Miss Pearl looked like she'd had a spell or something. She wouldn't eat nothing. She wouldn't talk to nobody. She just stared and stared at Miss McCandless lying there so still like she ran to the barn and wouldn't come out for nobody. Poor Pearl. <laughs> She's sad, Mr. Jesse. I listen at the barn door and I hear her weeping something awful. Last time when she did something for me. Yes, Mr. Jesse. Go and fix Miss Pearl a hot breakfast. Oh, yes. Oh, Jesse. Bash, I, I, I want you to pack Miss Pearl's thing. Oh, yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Pearl? Oh, Pearl. Go away. Bash, I said you wouldn't come into the house. I couldn't believe her. Leave me alone. You've gone out of your mind. What are you doing out here in the stable? I bet your pa would think it was too good for him. Never mind what he thinks. I'm not going to allow you to Don't suffer. Don't you worry none about me. I'm going away from you. Really? Where are you going, Pearl? It ain't your business. Me and Dice will get along all right. Of course, there's loot. He'll be paying a visit here sooner or later if I know loot. That's right, I'm loot's girl. You can't forget that, can you? Oh, Pearl, what makes you think that? That's what you said that night. You said you'd never forget. I did say that, didn't I? It would have worried me sometimes to think I'd made so much of it. I hope it didn't make any difference. No, it didn't make no difference. You're right, I'm loot's girl. It's all I ever was, it's all I ever could be. You love him, don't you? Love him? I hate him. I wish they'd hang him. I wish they'd hang him fast. Yes, it's all you've been through, I suppose. Ah, oh, ain't just his fault. He sent for me tonight. I guess I go to him. Well, Lute's not sending for you tonight or any other night. Listen, Pearl, I have to be in Paradise Flats a few days on business. Do you want to wait here until I go to Austin, or would you like to come with me right now? Me? You're just being sorry for me. You don't have to be sorry right, for me, Nyan. Listen none. to me, Pearl. I won't have you thinking that. It's you who are feeling sorry for yourself. I told Helen long ago I wanted to get you out of here. You told her? Yes. She wants to be your friend. Oh, Jesse, after your ma died, I, I just didn't want to go on living my home. I know. You like Helen. But she'll like you too. You just wait and see. She's a lady, ain't she? Like your mom. She's a lady, Pearl, like you're going to be. No, I can't be no more. Of course you can. We'll just pretend the whole thing was just a bad dream. That's all it was, actually, a nightmare. Oh, Jesse, if only I could be good again. Pearl. Pearl, look at me. Remember when you wanted to learn, when you wanted me to help you? Well, I know just the school for you. School? What's the matter? Don't you still want to learn? Oh, Jesse, I'll do anything. I'll, I'll cook for you. I'll wash Miss Helen's clothes up. You'll do nothing of the sort. You'll learn to waltz and make small talk and have pretty dresses. Here. For, for me? For the mother to you. Jesse, I, I wish. I wish I could die for you. Let's hope you never have to do that, Pearl. from your brother. You know, the McCandless with the guts. What's the matter with a bad man? Can't he deliver his messages in person? Uh, he has some business tonight with a train. You know, he just plum don't like trains. So I've heard. Have you become his assistant, Sid? Oh, we keep in touch with each other. You should have seen his face when I told him you have Chavez with you. Now, 
that it was a lovely sight to behold. What's the message? He says I'm to bring her back with me, pronto. Suppose she doesn't feel up to making the trip. He says if she don't come back, he's coming here tomorrow morning bright and early and get her. You seem to be a capable messenger, Sid. Would you mind carrying back a reply? Well, not at all. Glad to oblige. You can tell my beloved brother that I'll wait for him here. I should have the sheriff waiting for him, but I prefer to meet him alone. Is that a promise? You're not talking to loot. That's near enough. I'm giving you one more chance, Jesse. Send Pearl out here or I'll plug you from here to breakfast. Look, Lou, just what do you think Pearl's doing here with me? Don't give me any of your high and mighty noble talk, big words. You think I wouldn't shoot you because you ain't got a gun? No, Lou, I wouldn't credit you with any such compunctions. Riding back to that hitching post and then turning and starting to shoot. It's more than you did for Sam Pierce. Why all the consideration? Just don't want them fancy friends of yours to say you had a brother who shot you down in cold blood. You're going to hang, Loot. You're going to hang by the neck until you're dead. You'll just go on killing and killing till they kill you. I hope Pearl gives you a pretty funeral, Jesse. Uh, come here to gloat over me, huh? Well, you can turn right around and get out of here. I came because I thought maybe you'd be needing a friend. There's a funny glow in the sky tonight, ain't there? I remember once sharing one of them engine legends about how their ancestors lit bonfires in the sky when the chief's son was a-dying. Oh, so he's dying, huh? Well, it don't surprise me none. Loot always was a good shot. No, it looks like them ancestors of yours that have put out those bonfires. What do you mean? I guess Jesse's a little tougher than you thought. Thank God. Oh, I thought I knew you better than that, Jackson. I know how fond you were of those boys and how proud of them you were. You know, Liam, it don't seem possible, but I must have been wrong about a whole lot of things. Laura Bell warned me I was spoiling Lou, but I wouldn't. Listen to it. Lamb, look. You see them plains and hills? I was so almighty proud of what I carved out of this country. I figured I was building something for loot and Jesse. And what have I got now? Loot and murder and outlaw. Jesse. <laughs> Jesse. Jesse will come back any time you want him to. You think so, Lamb? You think so? You want me to tell you so? I'm just a lonely old man who needs a friend. Like you said, Lem. Here's your luggage, miss. Helen, ain't you? And your crew. He's been asking for you. How is he? He's gonna be all right. Kevin. I should cry. I know it. He wouldn't like it. You couldn't do nothing he wouldn't like. You're very fond of Jesse, aren't you? Hmm. 
after my pa. And wasn't never nobody good to me like my pa. Except Miss McCandless and Jesse. Oh, my dear. You, you will come and live with us, won't you? I want you to. Miss Helen. Yes, Pearl. I'm glad you and Jesse are bespoken. Thank you. Hi, Pearl. Hey, how's a hero? Just heard he was gonna pull through. Tough luck, ain't it? But loot will get him next time. You can bank on that. Next time? Yeah. Next time. Hey, Pearl. I got good news for you. Yes, it? What is it? It's from Loot. He says you gotta hide Dalen out of here if you wanna kiss him goodbye before he beats it across the border. You mean it, Sid? Where is he? I kind of figured you'd like that. He's hiding out at Squall's Head Rock. You got that? Squall's Head Rock. Just fire two shots when you get there. Yes, it. I got it. Squall's Head Rock. You take the patchy trail to the mission. Any engine there can tell you how to get to Buffalo Ridge. And then you... So you got a good horse. It's a couple of days' ride. Sure, I got my pinto. You know. The one loot gave me. Before I was his girl. <laughs>
I guess that does it. Pearl! Hey, Pearl! I can't shoot no more, honey. Honest. I'm not scared of you. I'm coming up after you. All right, then. Come on. my lion no more. I'm through. Pearl, you hear me? Yeah. Diane. Pearl, I, I, I'm going. Fast, are you? Ain't you coming up? I want to see you. I, I got to see you. Thank <laughs> you. 